Baik, sebelumnya kita sudah menyaksikan ya beberapa video dari Mentari Group. Nah, apabila adik-adik, ayah, dan bunda ingin menyaksikan kembali video-video yang baru saja ditayangkan, silahkan langsung mengunjungi YouTube Mentari Group ya. Dan sebelum kita memulai acara, izinkan kami untuk memutarkan video Mars Mentari Group yang kami nyanyikan setiap hari sebagai, eh, sebagai bagian dari semangat kami untuk menghidupi visi, misi, dan budaya mentari grup dalam setiap karya, yaitu bangun pendidikan, majukan bangsa. Mari kita saksikan, mari kita dengarkan bersama-sama. Kalis, kalis. Insan mentari hai in di waktu mengabdi bangsa lewat pendidikan berangkat dari visi misi luhur kami datang untuk membangun diri kami bermimpi dan terus berkreasi mau dan sanggup menjadi yang terbaik. Cepat cetak salah itu adalah kami berkarya terbaik itulah nafas kami untuk Indonesia kami berkarya bangun pendidikan majukan bangsa. Baik, selamat pagi adik-adik, ayah dan bunda yang telah bergabung via Zoom maupun live streaming. Selamat datang dalam cooking demo bersama Syatek dengan tema pembuatan burger nabati dan pengenalan manfaatnya. Kegiatan ini merupakan rangkaian dari Lomba Koki Cili, salah satu kegiatan dari program pelajar berkreasi persembahan mentari itu. Perkenalkan, saya Kak Meita yang akan memandu berjalannya acara hari ini. Senang sekali ya, kita bisa bertemu secara virtual hari ini dalam keadaan sehat walafiat untuk melaksanakan cooking demo ini. Siapa nih dari adik-adik yang sudah excited sekali dan tidak sabar untuk bertemu dan belajar langsung ya tentunya dengan para chef hari ini. Boleh berikan reaction di Zoom ataupun ditulis di kolom komentar pada YouTube live streaming ya. Oke, adik-adik, ayah dan bunda, sebelum kita memulai sesi pada hari ini, saya akan menyampaikan beberapa regulasi terkait sesi ini ya. Yang pertama, selama... Chef kita menyampaikan sesi mikrofon adik-adik finalis akan kami senyapkan. Kemudian selama sesi berlangsung, harap adik-adik finalis untuk menyalakan kamera videonya ya. Nantinya kita akan ada tanya jawab di akhir sesi. Dan pertanyaan dapat diajukan melalui chat Zoom agar moderator dapat memilih beberapa pertanyaan untuk diberikan ke chef kita. Dan adik-adik yang juga ingin bertanya bisa juga langsung menggunakan fitur yang terdapat di ikon partisipan atau reaction. Dan untuk ayah dan bunda yang ada di live streaming hari ini dapat menulis juga pertanyaannya di kolom komentar YouTube live stream ya. Dan yang terakhir nantinya para chef kita akan memberikan juga kok kesempatan adik-adik untuk bertanya. Jadi tenang aja ya adik-adik ya. Nah, informasi yang tertera pada layar merupakan agenda kita hari ini nih, adik-adik, ayah dan bunda. Jadi yang pertama nantinya akan ada sambutan dari Mentari Group, kemudian dilanjutkan dengan perkenalan dari Syatek, dan kemudian kita akan memulai cooking demo oleh Chef Samson dan juga Chef Rafi. Dan setelah cooking demo selesai, kita akan ada sesi tanya-jawab dan juga sesi foto bersama ya, adik-adik. Dan setelah itu baru kita akan melakukan penutupan acara. 
Nah, sebelum kita memulai agenda kita hari ini, saya ingin mengundang Ibu Fatmawati Francisca selaku penasehat Lomba Koki Cilik 2022 untuk memberikan kata sambutan. Kepada Ibu Fatma, saya persilakan. Oke, selamat pagi. Halo adik-adik, selamat pagi. Ya, senang sekali ya kita hari ini bisa berkumpul kembali. Oke, uh, Kameta saya izin share screen dulu ya. Apakah sudah terlihat Kameta? Sudah, Bu Fatma. Sudah ya. Saya mau dipanggil kakak juga, Kak Meta. Oh, Oke, okay. Kak Fatma ya. Iya. <laughs> Oke, okay, baik. Uh, kembali saya menyapa adik-adik, ayah bunda. Uh, selamat pagi. Uh, terima kasih sudah hadir. Tepat waktu ya, pagi ini bersama kami di Zoom meeting ini. Um, terima kasih juga kepada orang tua yang mendampingi adik-adik finalis hari ini. Dan terima kasih juga kepada setiap panitia. Uh, good morning to our chef also, chef Tanson, chef Rafi, and also uh, Satek team. Okay. Uh, kembali saya mengucapkan uh, terima kasih kepada Satek. Thank you to all Satek team yeah, for your willingness to share your knowledge and experience to our finalists. Thank you also, ya. Terima kasih kepada para finalis yang sudah hadir pagi hari ini, pada para orang tua yang terus mendampingi dan mendukung adik-adik uh, supaya bisa datang dan bisa menghadiri acara hari ini, dan sudah pasti adalah kepada tim Mentari Group yang selama dua bulan terakhir terus mempersiapkan rangkaian acara kita pada hari ini. Uh, Pertama-tama, kami ingin mengucapkan. Selamat kepada adik-adik finalis ya yang sudah sampai pada tahap uh, hari ini. Menjadi finalis Lomba Koki Cilik merupakan prestasi yang membanggakan karena adik-adik mampu bersaing dengan ratusan peserta lainnya dan telah melewati beberapa tahap proses penilaian juri. Oke, pelajar berkreasi uh, adalah uh, Lomba Koki Cilik adalah rangkaian dari acara dari pelajar berkreasi ya persembahan mentari grup. Nah, jadi pelajar berkreasi selama tahun 2022 sudah ada melakukan uh, dua kegiatan lainnya. Yang pertama adalah mentari English uh, competition yang terdiri dari English storytelling dan juga English speed contest yang kita lakukan pada bulan Februari sampai April kemarin. Nah, yang tidak kalah uh, menarik dan sangat uh, menggembirakan juga ya dan banyak yang tertarik itu adalah mentari Mathematics Olympiad atau yang sering kita sebut dengan memo yang sudah berlangsung uh, dari bulan Juni sampai kemarin uh, finalnya di September dan untuk hari ini kita akan melakukan rangkaian uh, lomba dari pelajar berkreasi yaitu lomba koki cilik oke okay. lomba koki cilik sendiri itu um, sudah melalui beberapa tahapan. Pertama sekali, uh, kita membuka pendaftaran itu di tanggal 23 September dan kita menunggu hasil karya adik-adik sekalian sampai 23 Oktober. Ya, pada saat uh, tanggal 16 November kemarin, kita mengumumkan 10 besar dan hari ini adik-adik sudah berkumpul semua di sini. Ya, Oke, okay. nah. Dari mulai tanggal 17 sampai tanggal 22 November nanti, ini semua video finalis sudah kami masukkan ke dalam YouTube. Jadi silakan ya adik-adik mengajak sebanyak-banyaknya kerabat, saudara untuk memilih uh, video adik-adik supaya bisa menjadi pemenang pilihan warganet. Nah, hari ini kita 19 November kita akan mengikuti demo memasak bersama Satek. Ya. Sesi yang kami adakan hari ini adalah persembahan khusus untuk para finalis. 
dan semua peserta lomba Koki Cilik uh, yang hadir melalui YouTube hari ini. Sesi ini merupakan bentuk dukungan kami untuk pelajar Indonesia dalam pengembangan kemampuan literasi, numerasi, dan karakter. Hari ini kita akan belajar bersama chef ternama dan andal dari Satek. Mungkin ada yang bertanya-tanya ya, Satek apa sih gitu ya? Nah, bagi peserta yang tahun lalu sudah ikut, saya ada lihat beberapa nama yang tahun lalu sudah ikut juga, mungkin sudah tahu, tapi nanti uh, Chef uh, Samson akan menjawab pertanyaan-pertanyaan adik-adik uh, mengenai apa saja sih yang dilakukan oleh Satek, siapa uh, Satek, dia, uh, Chef Samson akan menjawab semuanya. Oke, nanti pada tanggal 23 November kita akan mengumumkan pemenang dari setiap kategori. Berdoa ya adik-adik supaya adik-adik bisa menjadi pemenangnya. Oke, okay, dan uh, kita juga akan ada pengumuman satu pemenang favorit dari setiap kategori. Ya, hari ini kita akan uh, memasak bersama uh, Chef uh, Samson dan juga Chef Rapi. Dan hari ini kita akan melihat bagaimana sih pembuatan burger nabati dan juga pengenalan manfaatnya. Nah, Tadi sudah disampaikan mengenai pelajar berkreasi dan juga tentang lomba koki cilik. Nah, ini semua adalah persembahan dari Mentari Group. Ada yang menyampaikan bahwa tidak kenal, maka tidak sayang. Jadi, Kak Fatma ingin menyampaikan sedikit tentang siapa sih Mentari Group, apa yang kami lakukan. Ya, Mentari Group ini um, kami sudah melayani ke 34 provinsi di Indonesia. Mentari Group adalah penyedia solusi terpadu untuk pendidikan. Nah, sampai saat ini kami sudah melayani lebih dari 9.000 institusi yang tersebar di seluruh Indonesia. Dan kami memiliki 250 tim yang siap membantu orang tua, guru, dan sekolah dalam peningkatan mutu sumber daya manusia Indonesia melalui jalur pendidikan. Baiklah, sebelum saya mengakhiri sambutan ini, izinkan saya untuk memutar video singkat tentang perjalanan mentari grup dalam membangun pendidikan Indonesia dalam kurun waktu 20 tahun terakhir. Selama uh, lebih dari 20 tahun terakhir, kami selalu setia pada misi dan misi mentari grup dan yang tidak pernah berubah. Sejak hari pertama mentari didirikan, kami bertekad untuk menjadi kontributor aktif dalam membangun sumber daya manusia berkualitas uh, melalui pendidikan. Sehingga bangsa kita dapat berdiri sejajar dengan bangsa-bangsa terkemuka lainnya di dunia. Dan 
sesuai dengan komitmen kami lah, maka hari ini kami melakukan acara lomba koki cilik ini. Uh, ya buat Bapak uh, Ayah dan Bunda, kalau ingin melihat produk-produk uh, atau juga ingin uh, mendapatkan program-program terbaik dari Mentari, kita juga memiliki sembilan toko yang tersebar di beberapa kota besar di uh, Indonesia. Bapak dan Ibu, Ayah dan Bunda bisa melihat uh, di website kami, dan kami juga hadir di uh, secara online di Tokopedia maupun di Shopee. Ya, nah untuk sebagai kata penutup, izinkan saya mengutip kata-kata uh, bijak yang disampaikan oleh Nelson Mandela. Pendidikan merupakan senjata paling ampuh untuk mengubah dunia. Ya, mari ayah bunda kita dukung terus pendidikan anak-anak kita. Salah satu caranya adalah dengan mengikut sertakan mereka pada kegiatan-kegiatan yang mampu mengembangkan kemampuan mereka sehingga pada saatnya nanti anak-anak kita inilah yang akan mengubah dunia menjadi lebih baik. Terima kasih dan selamat mengikuti sesi hari ini. Silakan Kak Meta. Iya. Yeah. Baik, terima kasih Kak Fatma atas sambutan yang telah diberikan ya dan juga berbagi cerita mengenai perjalanan Mentari Group. Nah, adik-adik pastinya sudah tidak sabar ya untuk menunggu uh, untuk bertemu dengan kedua chef kita hari ini. Dan tanpa menunggu lama lagi, mari kita mulai dengan video profil chef tamu kita. Ya, ini mama lu biasa. Ini mama lu dia udah kamu lihat, dia kok. Oke, oh, dia
Hello, Chef Rafi and Chef Sonson. They're saying hi. They're saying hi, Chef. Hello. Hi. Hello. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, can you hear me? We can, but it's. I think it's quite. Can you hear me, please? Say okay. We are sorry, I need this. Okay, uh, boys and girls. Welcome to our live demo. My name is Samson, with me is Chef Rafi. Hello. Yeah, today I'm going to uh, introduce you what we shout that all first before we go for the demo. Okay. Okay, uh, what is Shoutback? Shoutback is a place, it's a school where we group future chef like me, myself, and Chef Rafi. Alright, and Chef Rafi, do you know that Chef Rafi was my student 12 years ago, right? 12 years ago. Wow, 12 years ago. And now he's become the trainer. But before he became a trainer, he was working in the hotel and restaurant for 10, almost 10 years. And right now, he's shop back with me, teaching the young generation to become the future chef. Okay, and of course, we have grown many chefs in Indonesia. Okay, for example, like Chef Andy Hatolo, very good looking. He's a celebrity chef in Jakarta. I think he's better looking than both of us, right? For sure. Sure? Or oh, we are better looking? You are better. Oh, we are better looking, okay. And Chef uh, Andy Hatolo is a celebrity chef in Jakarta right now. Of course, he has business also. And we have groomed another very successful entrepreneur and a chef owner of the ID Group uh, from Union Daddy Group. Uh, many people know about this restaurant in Jakarta because it's one of the biggest group in Jakarta. You can visit her cafe in Jakarta and some other part of uh, Indonesia. Of course, the name is Karen. Yeah, I know Karen. Do you know her? No, you don't know. Okay, Karen, right? Also, can one of the most beautiful fishy chef in Indonesia. And we have group other chefs like Oscar. Chef Oscar right now is a big chef. Uh, working in a uh, lamp uh, hotel, all right. It's the head chef, and it's the most beautiful hotel in Jakarta. And also, we had a uh, chef, Katarina, is the chef owner and entrepreneur, and he set up his own online cookies and pastry shop in Mila, no, Surabaya. Sorry, so with us, there's so many successful chefs in Indonesia, and you can be the next. Successful chef in the future, right? Yes. Okay, next. Of course, we also have grouped a lot of famous chef and Michelin chef around the world. Yeah, okay, you can see from the slide. Okay, next. Next. Okay, uh, in short tech, we have a lot of cutting edge facilities provided for our students here. We have kitchens, we have classroom. Right now, we are in this very beautiful demo. demo. Yeah, then we're going to show you the cooking later on. Okay, next. And of course, we have our very own training restaurant called The Sapling. This is the restaurant where we provide students the actual hands on uh, cooking and selling our uh, their products to the public. And please do follow us on The Sapling. Okay, what it takes to become a chef, chef, a real chef. A real chef for sure needs passion. Okay, so what is passion? Passion means you have to learn what you do. Ah, I'm going to show you one of the very good examples of a very young, passionate chef. Thanks. Okay, this lady, right, she's from Russia. Anybody guess how old is she? 
Anybody can guess how old, how old is this young lady? Ada yang bisa no, untuk uh, umur dari anak yang ada di layar, adik-adik. Fifteen. Fifteen. Oh, lima belas. Ya. Sama sih. Lima belas means fifteen. Fifteen. Younger. Ten. There's also nine. Or ten. Order, order. Twelve. Twelve. Younger. Nine. Nine. Eleven. Order. Ah, sebelas. Sebelas. Sebelas means eleven. Yes, eleven years old. She is the junior master chef of Russia champion, and she was in Shatek a few years ago. Why she was in Shatek? Because her older brother loved cooking because of her. She cooks very delicious food every day for her brother. Right, and because her brother loved her cooking so much, her brother decided to join Shatek to become the future chef. So, if you have a passion, uh, if you have a passion to become a chef, age is not a problem. All right, it's, it's, yeah. If you have the determination, age is not a problem. You can start as young as 10, 9, 11. I see some real very young, and I saw the video of it's fantastic. It's Awesome, you know, you cook better than some of the adults. I agree. Yes. Yeah, maybe cook better than some of our students here. <laughs> Am I right? Or? So yeah. you, you guys did a good job. So yeah. Okay, next. Okay, besides uh, being passion, you must have a passion. Of course, you must be innovative to become a chef, right? Mm -hmm. So, next slide, I'm going to show you. Uh, please guess what dish is this? Can anybody tell me what dish is this? Sate. 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 There's... Sate. Yes. Anybody say sate? Very good. So clever. Well done. Sate. I love sate, you know, especially sate. Indonesian sate. Whenever I go to Indonesia, I will eat sate. Yeah. It's one of the best dishes, you know. It's well, good when the meat's blur, the marination is so aromatic. The barbecue taste. The barbecue taste. But now I'm hungry. When I see this sate, I'm very hungry. How about you? After this, we go. Okay. Okay. No, after this, we fly to Jakarta. Okay. Okay. Or fly to Mida. Yeah. Surabaya. Okay. Around Indonesia. Okay. Later on, I'll see you in Indonesia. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Just to eat sate. Anybody want to treat us sate? Anybody? One, three, chef, Rafi, and I, something. Ada yang mau belanja enggak, something? Ya, yeah, belanja. Belanja. Okay. Yeah. Wow, people raise hand, you know. Very good. Okay, yes. To be innovative, how are we going to transform this traditional something into a new presentation? Innovative. Right, next. Okay, next. Good. Okay, number one, let's do the picture number one. You can see this sate, right? We come and we call the canapé, a bite size of sate. It's a kind of a new presentation. And also, number two is so, the picture number two is also a kind of new presentation. And of course, last but not least, can anybody guess what is number three? Picture number three. Ada yang bisa menebak untuk nomor tiga, adik-adik? Gambar apa? Burger. 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 Oh, burger. Very good. Burger. Wow, you guys are fantastic. You are the really uh, so clever and you can be the future chef already. Yes, it's sate burger. All right. Next, my favorite dish. When I go to Indonesia, I must eat. I can don't drink, I can don't sleep, but I must Rendang. 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 Rendang, yes! Rendang. Rendang. I love Rendang. Do you like Rendang? I love Rendang. One of the best dishes in the world. Let's go to Indonesia now. Let's try the Indonesia. Rendang, Rendang. It's from Padang. Yeah. Rendang, how are we going to transform this traditional dish of Rendang into other presentation? Next. Okay, picture number one. Yes, picture number one. Can anybody tell me why is the picture number one? Funny, number one. 
Wan. Ayo apa? Kau. Perang. <laughs> Perang. <laughs> apa? There's an answer. Cake rendang. Ah, sila. Very good. Pais nama tu. Pastel. Pasta. Pastel. Pastel rendang masuknya. Pastel, pastel. Pastel. Oh, pastel. Pastel. Oh, ipo ipo. Oh, in Singapore you call curry puff. Very good. Very clever. Hey. Pastel with a rendang. Guys, you boys and girls are really awesome. You don't really know what it is. And some of you can tell me some other dishes. Well done. Okay, next. Of course, to be a future chef, not only you learn how to cook gourmet food, you must love to eat gourmet food. Just, just like these are all the gourmet food that you will experience when you become a chef. Thanks. Right. Also, <laughs> this is my favorite food in uh, Singapore. So I hope all of you here from Indonesia can visit Singapore soon. So that Chef Rafi will bring you all around Singapore for makan. Yes. Is it makan in Indonesia? Makan. Betul. Boleh? Boleh. Boleh. Okay. So, if you come to Singapore, please let us know. Chef Rafi will bring you all around Singapore to eat the local delicious food. Okay? Next. Of course, as a future chef, you need to learn how to make delicious gourmet bread and pastries. Alright, so you come with chef so lucky and so blessed, right? You can try so many food, you can try to make so many kind of delicious food. And of course, dessert is very important. You need to learn how to make a nice gourmet dessert. And in Shafet, right, you will learn how to make local dessert. And of course, dessert from around the world. Okay, next. As a chef, like Rafi and I, we have the chance to travel around the world. Okay, for, for myself, I've been to Germany, Dubai, Indonesia, Korea, China, Australia. Oh, so many I forget because we need to travel around the world to learn from the chef and also other chefs to learn from us to have an exchange program. All right, and of course, as a chef and working, Next, the cruise ship, yes. You have the chance to travel via the cruise ship. Uh, from the picture, you can see that these are the restaurants inside the cruise ship. Anybody travel in the cruise ship before? Have you been to the cruise ship before? Anybody in the cruise ship before? No? Yes? Okay, but I myself actually been inside the cruise ship before. I tell you, inside the cruise ship, right? Yes, from the picture, right? You can, you can see a lot of delicious food. You eat in, uh, your breakfast, you have the breakfast in the cruise ship. Lunch, high tea, after high tea, dinner, supper, and supper, 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 and breakfast. I tell you, you eat every day from day and night. Well, if you love food, you can work in the cruise ship as a future chef. Okay, next. Of course, some chefs can travel around the world because they work in airline. Like the next picture, we're going to show you. Ah, if you take flight before, there are, there are many nice in-flight meals, right? And these in-flight meals don't appear suddenly in front of you. They are cooked by the chef. So all these nice food, right, are prepared by the chef from the in-flight catering. So in future, you become a chef, you can prepare all these delicious in-flight food. They cater to the plate. Thanks. Wow, you see? Chef Rafi, you see? Wow. Even the food inside the plate can look so delicious, right? This one, Chef, if in Indonesia like this, yeah. you will say this, Enabaga. 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 What's that? It's uh, very delicious. Wow. Actually, uh, Chef Rafi are not Bahasa Indonesia. <laughs> he can speak very well. I think he can be my translator. He can be my translator. Okay. Okay. That's how I I can be your translator. I translate English to three parts. Okay. But I don't understand parts how. No, I will translate English. You do everything. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. okay, next. Of course, if you become a chef in the future, you have the chance to become a celebrity chef. Right? Who wants to be the celebrity chef in the future? 
future. But again, uh, I have seen some of you uh, from the video already celebrating chef of Indonesia, you know. Your videos, your cooking are so fantastic, awesome. You did a very good job, you know. That I think that a lot of you can do much better than me myself. So continue the good work, all right. And in the future, I want all of you here, all of you from Montari that join the Montari, right, to become the chef. And remember, come to Shaltek because Shaltek has proved a lot of successful chef, uh, be it Indonesia or in the world. So I hope when you grow up, all right, please join Shaltek. We. Uh, me, myself, and Chef Rafi will yes. be here waiting for you. Thank you so much, boys and girls. Thank you. And of course, last but not least, we have a scholarship in Shaltech provided for you. So if you join us, join our program in the future, we have scholarship for you. Yeah. And of course, uh, in Shaltech, we have a lot of uh, working together with a lot of hotels. Uh, famous hotel in Singapore. Five star hotel, six star hotel, like the race concert, right? Next. Of course, please, ladies and gentlemen, this is very important. All right, in order for Chef Rafi to treat you makan in Singapore, you have to scan and follow us on our social media. So follow us, scan right now, and Chef Rafi will keep in touch with you. Right now, okay, nice, good, 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 good. Wow, you guys follow us, please. Our Instagram, our Facebook. Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for your time. All right, and next, uh, we this is come to the highlight. Okay, this is very important, and I think all of you are waiting for, right? This been waiting for, and today we have one of the best chef of Singapore, Chef Rafi. Yay. Okay, Chef Rafi. Yes. What are you going to show our kids here today? Okay, so today I would want to uh, demo something very healthy. Healthy dish. A healthy dish. Because just now when I heard about the burger, okay, yeah. my dish is also a burger. Burger? Okay, who okay. love burger? Who love to eat burger? I myself love to eat burger. I love to eat burger. Yeah. Yes, you know burger. Adik -adik. So what burger are you uh, going to show them? Okay, so this burger is uh, something very special, uh, something very unique for the first time. Uh, we will do a vegan burger. Vegan burger? Why vegan burger? Why not a normal burger? Why today you are going to show them vegan burger? Because my, my motive for uh, our kids today is because we want to promote healthy and sustainable cooking. Yes. Why we are going to show you sustainable cooking? Because we are building a better world, a better earth for you, your niche, your children in the future. That's why we need to come up with sustainable. Yeah. Not only healthy for us, but healthy for the earth. Yes. Okay. Okay. So, what is the menu? Okay. The name of the menu, the whole menu. The menu is very simple. Okay. It's called the vegan burger. Vegan burger. Ooh, sedap. Okay, what are the ingredients? Yeah. Okay, if we see over here, the ingredients. Okay, so on the top side, you will see all different liquids, right? Yeah, so uh, this one is for us to make the sauce. Okay, on the second line over here, we will do our patty. Okay, okay. okay. and uh, over here, if you see the bun, it's a very special bun. The bun here, yeah. uh, special. Yeah. Uh, why special? Yeah. Why special is because this bun is made with no eggs. No eggs, it's vegan. Okay, yes. uh, why no eggs? Huh? Why no eggs is good for the earth? Because we put less stress on the chicken. Oh, less stress and uh, less carbon footprint. Yes, correct. Okay, that's it. That's right. Very good. Okay, next one we have. Okay, so over here. So to make the burger patty, okay, we will need a few things like black beans. Black beans. Yeah. This is brown rice. Brown rice. And uh, walnut. Walnut. Okay. And this one is very special. This one, only I know the recipe. This is a barbecue sauce. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Chef Rafi didn't show you. Okay. Chef Rafi didn't state the recipe 
the barbecue recipe because they want you personally to join Shoutek so that she can share the recipe with you personally if you come to Shoutek. Okay, so if anybody wants to learn how to make this barbecue sauce, come to Shoutek. Okay, yeah. so this one is plant based, plant based, plant based uh, barbecue sauce. Uh, and then we have this one. It's, uh, yeah. Could you please put so the bread? Yeah, and this bread crumb, right, is the leftover from the bread uh, yesterday. So we don't throw away. Mm. We don't throw away the bread. What we do is that we bake the bread and we blend it and chop it, right? So we pass this little cooking, right? Okay, and one more uh, very special thing that is not inside the recipe, which is for our kids. Watching us now. Yeah. This is mushrooms. Mushroom. Yeah, different mushroom from the garden, homegrown mushroom. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And I see this powder thing. This this is something that is very special, but it's inside the recipe, right? Yes, correct. Yeah, this is the magic powder. Okay, it's the soul of the uh, ingredient for the patty. Yeah. Yes. So just uh, follow our recipe. All right. Okay. So and um, we have here. But like, why, why, why do I serve in a wooden board? I don't know. Can you please? Okay, let me. So this wooden board, there's a special story behind it. There's uh, also that one of our suppliers that gave us for sustainability. Oh, okay, yeah. sustainability. Yes, so uh, it's a, it is a very special board from a, a, an old thing that they cut down, and then after that they give it to us so we can use. Yeah. Okay, very good. So are we going to start, Chef? Yes, okay. So first thing first, we're going to start. We will uh, cut the ingredients first that we have to cut. Okay. So maybe you can use a bit of basana. Yeah. Okay. Start, start, start. Yeah. So maybe some of the uh, kids at home, you are thinking, why can I speak basana? You know, I'm from Singapore, but. Yeah, why? Are you born in Indonesia last night? No, I'm not born. I'm also born in Indonesia. Yeah, uh, Indonesian girlfriend? No, I'm uh, single. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So, uh, how I can speak uh, Bahasa is because uh, I used to work in Indonesia ah. for three years. Yeah, three years in Indonesia. So, that's why uh, I can speak yeah. So, I love to interact with all students that are from Indonesia at school. Sometimes we interact and we talk about Bahasa. Yeah, I'm sure they learn a lot in Indonesia, their culture, their yeah. traditional, you know. So she come back from uh, when he coming from Indonesia, right? He, he, told, he told me, Chef Rapin said he miss Indonesia a lot. I miss Indonesia so much. So much. So much so much, right? Yes, especially the rendang. For oh, the rendang, for bagus, no, no, no bagus. Anna, Anna, Anna. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So uh, back to this. We will start to cut first a few ingredients. Okay, so we have to cut uh, with uh, bawang, bawang putih, uh, sorry, bawang besar, which is uh, onion. Okay, so the onion is is for our burger. So when we eat, that's uh, crunchy. Crunchy and sweetness. sweetness. Yes, yeah, right. Yeah. Okay, so how we want to cut our. Uh, Sarah, can you show the kids how to cut it in a safe and uh, efficient way? Okay, sure. Okay, so we cut our onion, the head, and then we will cut it. Ah, okay. Nice. So importantly is we don't want the onion to be messy all that's over. Okay. okay, so that's why I don't cut the butt here. This is called the step. Okay, so we want to cut a very uh, small dice. Small dice. Okay, so we well, how you call it small dice in Indonesia? Okay, uh, dice. Uh, <laughs> it's okay, <laughs> right? But I know the French. The, okay. the French term, okay, it's called Brunoise. Brunoise, Brunois. okay. Yeah. Okay, small dice in French, we call Brunoise. Yes. Kalau so, this one, uh, peta kecil. <laughs> kecil, kecil, like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, a, it's a small, yeah. Okay. okay. Uh, I know you don't need to Yeah, very good. Okay, so how we want to cut is always remember that our finger okay. cannot go more than our knife. Okay. okay. So we go slowly. So always use a very sharp knife. Then you can see, see oh, it's all slide. Ah, uh, yeah, nice slide, but not broken. Yeah, it's not broken. Yeah. Okay. So next, 
this uh, chef trick di dalam uh, kitchen. Okay, so what we do is we run our line. Okay, slowly to the end. Okay. Well, right? We do uh, two times. Okay, so you start to see chef some of the dice. Oh, yeah, become dice, right? Yeah. Well, magic, you know, like magic. But it's still, it's still not broken. Okay, good. Okay. So then we slice. Slow. Okay, slide across. Yes. So we start to see all this. Jadi lepas sudah potong, ada si beauty cream, cantik, cantik. Okay, so once we have this, okay, we put in our bowl here. So we have to use one bowl for us to mix the dish. Okay, so place all the dice, onion into a large bowl. Simple, so easy, right? Next, next, we will cut our tomato. Tomato. Okay. Okay. So to tomato, chef, we will cut slowly with our knife. Slice. Slice. One. Two. Three. Okay. Three tomato. Okay, three tomato. All right, good. Okay. Let's put aside. Put aside. Any, any garlic? Yes. And the last one, we will use garlic. So, chef, as a chef, how do we cut garlic? Is we will use our knife, then we use our hand. Karate chop chop. Oh, so violent, right? Okay, so okay. it's chop. Okay, chop. Chop 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 chop. Okay. So it's done. Oh, it's rough chop only? Yeah. Only my chop. Okay, rough chop. Huh? Yeah. Okay. So now that we have cut our ingredients, okay, now we will blend our food. Okay, very good. So chef, the patty, the ingredient, the pin, right? Yes. Uh, before that, huh? what, what do you need to prepare? Do you need to soak the bean or do you need to put the, you need to put the bean? Okay. So for the beans, so for the beans, we soak overnight. Then we boil for at least one and a half hours to hours until the bean is very soft. Yeah. All so right. after it's really cool, it starts to be broken like this. Yeah. Yeah. Then after we will blend. So the same for the brown rice. Okay. The brown rice we just use a normal uh, rice cooker. Yeah. And it's already okay. Yeah. So we have a few things that we have to blend. Which is these three things. Okay. So the black beans, the rice, and the walnut. Oh, nah. Very good. So are you going to put the blender together? Yes. Sir. So I'll put everything in the blender, right? Okay. 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 Very good, sir. Okay, today I'm uh, although Chef Rafi was my student, uh, now I become his student. I'm his assistant now. Okay. Thank you, sir. Welcome. So I blend this for one okay. So we don't want it to be very fine. Okay, so once we're done, okay, it looks like this. There you go. Okay, so we will put in together. Yeah, with the onion. The onion. Okay. So we add a bit more. Yeah. Okay. 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 okay now Chef Rafi is preparing the vegan patty. Okay. For those who don't understand earlier, this is a vegan patty. Everything. No meat. Yeah. So now it looks a little bit dry, right? So yeah. how do we want to make the patty come to life is we add in the secret barbecue sauce. Secret barbecue sauce or the secret chef Rafi barbecue sauce. Okay, so we'll put second then we will mix. We'll bind it together. Okay. Do you know that Chef Rafi also didn't share his recipe with me? He said that only for the children. That join the Mentari life. Okay. I'm so jealous. I'm 
Yes, that is correct. So maybe 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 later I can uh, share with you. No 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 no. If you come to Shaltek, then Chef Rafi will share with you. Oh okay, that's much more better. Not only he will share the barbecue sauce recipe with you, but he will bring you go makan. Yeah, the makan satay. Yeah, satay. <laughs> Singapore satay. Singapore satay. Ah, enak enak. Enak enak enak. Singapore satay enak. Okay, so the better now we have put the barbecue sauce in. So now I want to add in a bit of the bread crumb for more textures. Okay. Okay. So now I, why I use gloves is because I want to make it so heavy. Oh. Okay. So we will brush it like this. Yeah. So remember, we have to work clean. That's why we use gloves. Okay. Okay. So now, as you can see, it becomes. Uh, Form of a ball, we make it oh, a ball. Yeah. So we don't want our patty to be very big, right? So just this for this, we can do two portions. Okay. This one is about eighty gram. This one, yes, correct. About eighty gram. About eighty gram. Okay. Okay. So we can. Uh, there you go. Wow. Yeah. So it looks like a it looks like a burger patty, right? Yeah. Yeah. It looks better than a burger patty. Yes, correct. Right. Because all these ingredients are cooked so safe to eat, actually. Yes. So one patty is for you, and one patty is for I do for Chef Samson. Yeah. Don't be jealous, ah. If you want to try, come to Singapore, or you make yourself at home. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Just like this. Okay. Good. Okay. So we have about roughly the same size. Put it here. Yeah. Okay. So then we get it our stuff. Uh, and fry it. Yes, yes. So but then the most important thing before we continue on, okay? For any further step. Okay. Number one, we have to clean first. Oh clean. Yeah. Always keep your station clean and tidy at all times, okay? Okay, so we have to tidy it up our station, okay? Always uh yeah, best best for the same rule. Okay, so I will let this uh, rest for one for a good five to ten minutes, and now I will show you how to make the mayonnaise. Mayonnaise, yeah. So, okay. so the mayonnaise chef is also something very unique. Yeah. Okay, for the first time we will make a mayonnaise without any eggs. So the original recipe, as you know, uh, as you have told me before, chef, that we use egg yolk. Correct? Egg yolk. Yes. Uh, the original recipe for mayonnaise, the key ingredient is egg yolk. Yes, correct. But do they know egg yolk? Yeah. So how do we make? So that's why we use soya or we use tofu. Tofu. Ah, this is the what type of tofu is this? Yeah. This one is silken tofu. Silken tofu, the soft, soft tofu. Correct. Remember, you can only use soft tofu as yeah. white. Okay. Why soft tofu? If it's hard tofu, later when we mix, it has this very how do I say it? The black, yeah. uh, the chunky. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. So, no hot tofu, no mm. tau pua. Okay? You don't know tau pua. Tau pua, no tau pua, right? Yes, correct. Yes. Right. It's soft tofu, okay? Yes. Only soft tofu at time. Yeah. Okay? So, we will use a bowl. And we will have our wrist. The wrist, yeah. Chef, you want to help me to whisk? Ah, sure. Okay. So we will put in our tofu. Okay, just put in the tofu. Okay, so next, inside that, I have a mix of apple cider. Apple cider. Vinegar. And uh, lemon juice. Okay, okay. So we will have a bit of acidity inside. So for more, a bit more of the thickening agent. Okay, this one, like I said, this is the, the cooking liquid from the beans. Okay, this is the cooking liquid from the bean. Huh? This one, uh, just our chef Rafi use this liquid to boil the bean and don't throw away the liquid for boil the bean. Okay, so this is the liquid for the beans. Yeah. 
So it looks, it doesn't look watery, okay? So we will uh, put this in the chiller to let it cool and it will bite. Okay, sure. So we we'll put in the chiller for how many minutes? Yeah. For about 10 minutes. 10 minutes, yeah. okay. But yeah. chef, before we put, sorry, okay, we put in the garlic. Uh, garlic and chopped garlic. Yeah, the chopped garlic. So the chopped garlic, okay, we will get it a bit more fine. Okay, a bit more fine. A bit more fine. Okay, so while uh, Chef Sensen is uh, keeping the mayonnaise in the chiller, okay, so next step that we have to do is we will continue to clean, okay, so always remember. Harus selalu ingat kalau udah habis kerja satu kerja kita beresin dulu baru kita buat kerja yang lain. Okay, so we clean up a bit and then we will put our ready. All right, what ready? Ready, ready. Yes. Okay, so now we are only left with a few ingredients. Right, Jen? Yeah, very few ingredients. Okay, so as you see now, my table is clean. And I have here my salad, okay, which I prepared. And uh, I will just put a bit of the sauce. Later, I will share with you the recipe of the sauce. And the bowl here is for my, my mayonnaise. And then uh, we have our vegan bread over here. So we still have our avocado oil, yeah, chef, and then my, the seasoning box and the mushroom. Okay, so the mushroom we will put in a separate pot. Okay, yeah. Okay, so right now we want to pan fry the beef, uh, the bread. We, no, chef. We will pan fry the patty. Okay, good. Okay. So there's one trip to. Where we as a chef, okay, uh, when we use the pan, the pan has to be hot, chef. Yeah. Yeah. You want to share with the student chef why, why must the pan be very hot? Okay, uh, the pan must hot because first, so that your patty will stick onto the pan. And most importantly, when the pan is hot, when you pan fry the patty, right, the patty has a natural golden brown uh, color where mm -hmm. you provide a uh, the caramelized, yeah, caramelized. yeah a nice smoky flavor. Okay, yeah, yeah, come on. So, as you can see here, I use two pots one is for the mushroom, okay, and one is for our pate. Okay, so we use a spatula like this, yeah. so later when we turn okay. for our pate. Sure. Okay, so this one is for mushroom, so we will just put our mushroom inside. Yeah. So, this one, the pan, it should not be very, very hot. Okay, so we will slowly. Okay. So as you can see, chef, you already start to smoke. Yeah. Okay. So then you put a bit of oil. A bit of oil. Okay. So don't worry if you see all this type of oil. It's a. Uh, it's normal. Don't worry. Right. So if you come to Shatek, all right, I will be beside you and cook with you. Okay. So we will take our patty. Wow, I I know that you cannot smell the nice aroma, but here right now I can smell the nice patty, the nice mushroom. Mm. Well, I'm very happy about that pasta that I made. Okay, thank you. All right, so we will season the both of our mushrooms and the patty together. Okay, you got the pepper in there. Yeah, 
Okay, so it's very important. So when we cook, especially for burgers, we should never move, right, chef? Yeah, we should never move our shake our pan. So then later, if not our burger patty, it will break. break. Yeah. Okay, so we leave it. Okay, we so we add a bit more oil. Okay, remember we are using avocado oil. If you do not have avocado oil, it's okay. We can replace other oil like corn oil. Corn oil is healthy also. We can use the canola oil. Yeah, all these are uh, soya bean oil is also very good because these are the healthier oil and also a neutral oil. Okay. So as you can see, I am going to flip one part of the oil. Yeah. Okay. Like, so it has a very beautiful caramelized color. Yeah. So again, the burger it's already cooked, right? Because yeah, the, rice is cooked, yeah. Yeah, the rice is cooked. Yeah. So we just want a very nice color. Okay. okay. So always remember after you turn, we put a bit of the seasoning on top. Yeah. Okay. So this one also we will turn. So we turn. So we turn. So it's okay. The patty it breaks a bit. Yeah. So it all it happens also when yeah. we make our normal chicken or beef patty, right? Yeah. So it's okay. So the pan later, don't forget, we will make our brick, we will put inside. So okay, sure. So all the beautiful flavors. Yeah. Okay, okay. we'll leave the mushroom aside first. Yes. Okay, so a trick that I want to teach you, you can see over here on the mushroom. All right. So you can see the mushroom, it has already reduced. Okay, by a lot. Yeah. So then our chef uh, tip here is what you can do is you can take a bit of water. Okay, yeah. we'll put it inside so all the flavors okay. will get okay. outside. Okay. Yes. Okay, so okay, chef. Okay. Right. So okay, once it's like that, okay, we put it inside. So we just leave it to cool. Okay, so like here, right now, we are almost done. We have our burger patty. So most important thing, chef. Yeah. Like, as you know, after we cook, we have to rest. Rest the patty. Okay. Okay. So we have to rest the patty. So we take the food on our chocolate board. Okay, so don't forget our bun. Yeah, our bun we will make it was slowly uh, color our bun. Okay, so it's a normal thing when you cook, it tends to get very oily, okay, it tends to get uh, quite dirty. It's, it's okay, right? Just remember after you cook, you have to always clean. Okay, so what am I doing now is uh, I wear my glove and can check on our burger pet, burger bun here. Okay, very beautiful color. So one is that. Yeah. Put this one over here. Okay, chef. So what? Are you going to assemble the burger now? Yes. Now we will assemble the burger. Okay. So. I also have my mix over here. Okay, so if you see the recipe, okay, with the salad dressing, yeah. okay, this is a very simple dressing. Okay, it's basically uh, extra virgin olive oil. Yes. Extra virgin olive oil with some uh, lemon juice. Ah, very simple. Just two ingredients. Yes, very, very simple. Good. Two ingredients. Okay, if there's no extra virgin olive oil, what you can do is uh, a normal olive oil. It's also nice, but of course, we do not recommend. Uh, vegetable oil, 
or any oil for cooking because this is salad. Yeah, right. We want it to be very, very uh, nice. Okay, as we know also, uh, this dressing, okay, in the French term, what is it called? I don't know. Okay? I forget. I already passed my knowledge to you. Can you please and like this? Okay. Okay, so for the in the French term, it is called uh, vinaigrette. Yeah, vinaigrette. Yeah, vinaigrette. How to spell vinaigrette? V A B I G A A I yeah. no? G R E T T. Ah, okay, very good. Okay. Vinaigrette. Yeah. So if it's in the uh, Indonesian uh, Indonesian version, version it's called this uh, simple uh, celebration. Celebration. Yeah. It's not Indonesian Bahasa. Bahasa, we will ask them. Okay. During the Q and A, we will we will ask them. Okay, good. Okay. Next. Okay. Right. So this one is our salad dressing. Okay, and then uh, we will still keep this for a bit of garnish on top. Yeah. Okay. So now uh, we are at our plating side. Okay. okay. Now all the ingredients are almost ready. You are plating side, and later on, chef. After we have example everything, chef Rafi is going to share with you this cooking experience as a chef. Okay? Yes, I will. Okay. Okay. Now we example the dish first. Okay. So when we make the burger, as you can see here, it's very important when we want to plate, okay, that we have no more cooking already. So nothing is already cooking. So now it's for the time for us to plate our dish. Yeah. Okay, so number one, most important thing, that we first we will put a bit of the sauce on the bread. The mayonnaise sauce, the bigger mayonnaise sauce. Oh, it's beautiful. So beautiful mayonnaise sauce. Okay, so we will put on both sides so when you eat later, you don't feel dry. Right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It give you a nice flavor, smooth. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so we, once we put here, yeah, so we don't want our burger to fatty, the oil to go inside and when you eat the burger, it feels very, very oily. Yeah. Okay, so we put our tomato. One tomato, two tomato. Okay, so this tomato later, don't go. Okay, because we are using sustainable culture. Yeah. Right? Everything is important. Everything we will use. Yeah. Everything we will use on our uh, garnish. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So what's that? We will use our spatula to put. Uh, okay, oh, that's it. How is that? Nice. Okay. We put another one. Really. Okay. Okay. So we put one more. But then before we put, let's why not we put a bit more. Mayonnaise, yeah, nice. Because the recipe is very nice. Yeah. Okay. So as you know, this is a vegan dish, so there's no cheese. So some of you might think um, a burger with no cheese, but no worries, the sauce itself is very, very flavorful. flavorful and thick. Okay, so we put two. And then we cover. Well, look at that chef. Ooh, wow. It looks so big. Okay. So, now, we will move our burger into the pot. Onto the pot here. And the mushroom. Yep. Okay, so we'll put the mushroom. We'll put the mushroom on top of the salad. But before we put the mushroom set, we have to remember we put the dressing first. Okay, dressing first. Yeah. All right. Nice. The dressing first. Okay, so remember your dressing. Okay. This is the dressing. We will put on top. Yeah. Wow. Look at that chef. Okay, good. So next, yeah, next. Remember our tomato. So yeah. our tomato, we will we will cut to put as a garnish on top. Ah, uh, well, very creative, chef. Yes, chef. Because it's now when you share. Remember, we have to be creative and innovative. Yes, correct. So we will cut our tomato and we'll put as a garnish on top. Wow, chef. Are you hungry already? I already hungry. Thirteen minutes to go. Okay. When I smell your nice patty, your burger, you know, just now I taste the mayonnaise. What? It's good. Amazing. Amazing. Okay, last. And our mushroom here. It's a garnish on top. Wow. Good. 
So today is a Saturday, right? Sir? Yeah, Saturday. Yeah. And it's up to so it's a very beautiful day. If we do this, we change the case to do. We change the case to do tomorrow. I hope. What What do you think? Okay. Uh, very cool. Okay, we have a question, Chef. We have a student called Ash Ashura. Ashura. Uh, Ashura asks, can we replace the man bean into soybean? Uh, yes. Of course, soybean is another very healthy bean, high protein, right? So because meat, the real meat like beef chicken itself has high protein. So by transforming it into a vegan fatty, right? We need to uh, transfer it, uh, replace it with other ingredients like what? So I mean, mm -hmm. beef, because beef itself has a high protein content. Right. Yeah. So it's a very good question asked by uh, Ashura. Yeah, Ashura, thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, Chef. So what's our next step for this? Okay, the next step, right? What we're going to do, we clean the place first. Mm -hmm. And I think I actually want to try it. Wait on, wait on. Okay, sure. Yeah. So I'm going to clean the place. Yeah. Of course, uh, Chef Rafi is going to... Uh, Talk to you guys about more about being a chef, his experience of being a chef. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So before we, uh, we jump to that, ini ada makanannya. Okay. So for today, we will do. Uh, we have shown you uh, vegan burger. Okay. Vegan burger. Vegan burger sama salad. Okay. Dan uh, omat. Dan uh, ini marinesnya. Okay. Jadi, jadi. Uh, sekarang kalau kamu mau nanya apa soalan ke saya, oke mau itu dalam siapa berapa? Dan tinggal lagi ganti dulu dan ini. Tapi itu chat box, oke, dan we can answer you. Oke, so I should ask one more question. Can you please share the detailed recipe? Thank you. Oke, yes, sure, we can share. Ah, you just have to email to Mentari. Alright, we already have sent the email, the recipe to Mentari. If you want to know more the recipe, the detailed recipe, um, you 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 can email to them, and I'm sure that Mentari, the staff of Mentari, the big member of the Mentari, like to share the recipe with you. Okay, okay, share recipe. Yes, sir. Twelve years ago, you were my student in Shatek. Yes. So, what makes you want to join? Uh, school and also want to be a future chef. Maybe okay. you want to share with our kids. Okay, so 12 years ago, how old was I? 12 years ago, I was uh, 17 years old. 17 years old, wow. Chef Rafi was a 70 years old kids last time. Yeah, 17 years old when I just joined. Okay, uh, 17 years old. So what made me want to join, uh, what inspired me is uh, I just like to go to the kitchen and I like to mess around. Not mess around, just like to cut and uh, cook slowly. Then that was what made me. So I had a passion. Uh, I remember that you like to go to the kitchen and disturb your know, grandmother or your mother. Yes, right. So uh, my inspiration, right? So was my was father. My father. Yes. Ah, your father was a chef? Yes, my father was a chef. This one, we remove. We remove this one, so it looks much more nicer for the picture later. Ah, picture later. Now, but we are doing sharing. Okay. Okay, share up here. We need you back. Okay, sorry. Okay, so, uh, yes, my father uh, is still a chef, right? So, uh, my great grandfather uh, was a chef. So, so and uh, generasi yang nomor tiga, yeah, the third generation. Third generation. Yeah. Okay, so I've always loved to eat. That's why I'm a bit big. <laughs> so I also I'm, big last time, but now smaller a bit. Yeah. So Chef Sensen now is a uh, very fit, right? Uh, exercise a lot. Yeah, I do a lot of exercise because I'm an old man. So old man need to keep my uh, health healthy. Yeah. So I I've always loved to cook, and uh, when I Went to Indonesia at one time. And, uh, it was a very good experience. Really one of the best experiences uh, in my life for a good three years. So uh, we'll see. Hopefully one day. Hopefully one day we never know. Uh, maybe I can go back there to 
never know. Yeah, uh, you never know that Chef Rafi right now will do his teaching in Southend. But of course, in the near future, he still want to go into the kitchen, back into the hotel or back into the restaurant to uh, of course prepare the delicious dish mm -hmm. and share his recipe with other people, you know. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. So it's a very uh, amazing experience. Being a chef, right? So travel the world, just like the chef said, uh, about travel, uh, you want to go there, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know, so it was a very good experience. Yeah. So can you share with them uh, what's your experience as a student in Shatek? Okay, so when I just joined Shatek uh, at 17 years old, yeah, I still remember. Uh, I was very afraid, very nervous. Why? Because uh, I see the chef, the, the image of the chef is someone who's very strict. Very strict. Yeah. Very strict. So when, when I just joined, then uh, I don't know how to do how to cut the onion properly, right? How to uh, how to grill the burger. How to clean. How to clean it. Correct. So then slowly, Chef Samson was uh, my first chef that I learned with. So he teach slowly, even though sometimes if you do a bit slow, then he will, he will say faster, faster. Okay, but in the kitchen, uh, it is a, a very good thing that uh, we always work, that we always clean, and we will have to work very fast. Correction? Yes, clean and fast. Yes. Very important. Very important. It can be fast, but you also need to stay clean. All right? Yeah. So after you graduate from Chartet, right, which is the first place that you work? Okay, so. When I finished my uh, studies in Shatek, yeah. where I went first was a uh, uh, five-star hotel in Singapore. Uh, it's called uh, Mandarin Oriental Hotel. Yeah, the hotel uh, Mandarin Oriental. There is Mandarin Oriental in Jakarta. Oh, yeah. Is it? Yeah, there is Jakarta. 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 Yeah. Is it very expensive? Uh, not so expensive. Okay. Maya, Maya. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay, so uh, I stayed uh, a good two years in uh, Mandarin Oriental uh, Singapore. Yeah. Then after that, I went over to, I further studies. Yeah. yeah. So further, further studies, uh, I went to Europe, uh, studied, then after I came back to Singapore. Yeah, I went to Indonesia. Yeah. So I came back to Singapore again. Oh, yeah. Okay. So many times, uh, go in and out of Singapore. Yeah, many, many times. That's why you are very experienced. Okay, we have some questions from the children. Mm. Okay, what are the questions? Can you see, Chef? Okay, what's the question? I'm supposed to say. Terima kasih. Oh, oh. Uh, Kenzi, uh, no, Kenzi says, uh, Terima kasih. Uh, oh, yeah, most of the time. Yeah, so thank you. Yeah. All of the, the recipe that we'll give in the concept group. Ah, okay. Okay, yeah. So, Chef, since you asked me, now it's my turn, I ask you. So, uh, why do you fall in love with cooking? I fall in love with cooking because I love to eat. And I sometimes, you know, I was thinking, I when I want to eat something like very good chicken rice, but I can't find good chicken rice mm -hmm. at my place, around my place. So I decided to cook myself because mm -hmm. I cook whatever I prefer. But more than that, it's like because when I was young, right, uh, my dream was never become a chef. Actually, I want to become a policeman. Policeman? Yeah, policeman. Wow. But, but, because when I was young, right, uh, I was very precise. So I know that I can't run. So I decided to be a chef and I enrolled myself to Shaltek. I was a graduate from Shaltek also. Mm. But many successful chefs in Singapore and around the world graduate from our school, Shaltek. Yeah. Right, right. Yeah. And of course, uh, after working in the hotel for 15 years, I decided to share my working experience, my cooking experience. With the younger generation, with the young, with the younger chef, and one of them, Chef Rafi. Yeah. yeah. Of course, right now what I'm doing is that I'm doing more on like an overseas project. And uh, I remember that when I was a chef in a hotel, it's not easy. Okay, if you want to be a chef in a hotel, remember you need to work very long hours. Yes, correct. Indonesia works long hours. Kerjaya panjang dari pagi sampai malam. Oh, okay, long hours. Okay. And you need to prepare to wash a lot of uh, maybe some of the pots and pans, get your hands dirty. All right. And most important thing, you must have determination because the kitchen is some of the kitchen is very hot. Mm. All right, the, the environment is hot. So you need to have patience also. Yeah. 
Yeah, some of the guests will school you, but never mind. Okay, be patient. And your objective is to cook the best dish for them. Okay. Maybe I translate for you. Okay, go okay. ahead. Jadi uh, apa yang uh, Chef Chef Samson uh, katakan? Ya, jadi kita harus uh, yang kalau kalian satu hari nanti mau mau kerja di di, di hotel atau di restoran bidang bidang ini harus uh, ada keyakinan yang yang tinggi harus uh, kuat prinsipnya atau uh, mentalnya harus uh, terus mau meneruskan jadi uh, kerja di hotel kerja di, di restoran itu uh, lumayan susah bukan susah dari apa tapi uh, kerjanya panjang masa masanya panjang uh, panas yeah, it's very hot so it's, uh, panas dan uh, capek tapi capek itu uh, means tired oh, iya, very tired yeah, very tiring uh, capek jadi uh, tapi yang enaknya the, the best thing is uh, what about what you said uh, what you said is uh, very rewarding rewarding yeah, very rewarding. like right now you see I see my students you know that graduate from Shaftet like Chef Rafi become very successful I see some of our students working in the kitchen become the head chef becoming the Michelin star chef and most important thing that they still love to cook also yes correct correct Chef, you see that? Yeah, you see uh, Michaela, Michaela, she Michaela. said, uh, one day, Michaela wants to go to Shatai. Yay! Yay! Please come to Shatai, we welcome you. Anybody else want to come to Shatai or not? Yeah. Okay, so we will, of course, we will uh, see you one day uh, yeah. over here. Yeah. Right? And uh, don't forget to always uh, kerja keras, belajar, uh, with, uh, study hard and yeah. uh, also work very hard. Yeah. Okay, then uh, one day, yeah, it will be like Chef Samson. Okay, even maybe some of you hmm, don't wish to be the chef in future, but most important thing uh, to be successful in life, you need to study and work hard now. Hmm. Nothing is for free in this world, right? Yes, correct. Yeah. yeah. Okay, how do you translate in Bahasa? Oh, nothing is nothing, nothing is free in this world. Oh, tidak ada yang gratis di dalam dunia ini. Itu uh, maksudnya. Yeah, Chef, we got a question uh, from uh, Vanessa. She asks, how to eat the burger because it's too big? <laughs> oh, very simple. Open your mouth bigger. <laughs> no, no, just kidding. Okay, actually this burger can be cut. Mm. All right, by right, the traditional way, uh, I use my hand. Uh. Okay, the traditional way is to squeeze the burger into very fat and you have to put in the mouth. But if let's say you don't have such a big mouth like Chef Rafi, <laughs> never mind. You can use a fork and a knife to cut the smaller pieces. Okay? Yes, correct. Yeah. yeah. So I love to do if it's me because I'm so big, like Chef. Yeah. So if maybe I buy this uh, four times, three times, you finish. Uh, I think Chef Rafi one time enough. Thank you, Chef. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Any question? Ada lagi yang mau bertanya? Welcome, Anissa. Ya, most welcome. Dengan chefnya. Jangan lupa resep ya, chef. Don't forget the recipe, she said. Oh, the recipe. Ah, yeah, they are nice. We will not forget. <laughs> mentari, the mentari, uh, team of mentari, please remember to send to them, okay? No worries. <laughs> we will do it. Okay, if they didn't send to you, Tell Chef Rafi Nanti can you mention ya Tari people, okay? <laughs> you know. Kalau udah bikin Okay, we, we will remember to send to you Don't worry, the recipe is very good Yeah, yeah. This is a, It's a very nice recipe, Chef I think for first time We see something very unique Very unique Right? Like, so traditionally, I think uh, Usually, we see outside uh, Either chicken burger or Beef, beef burger. burger So boring mm. yeah. yeah So, and most important thing Sometimes when you cook the patty, right, like beef patty or chicken meat patty, sometimes you will uncook or undercook. But with this recipe, you no need afraid that it's undercooked because all the ingredients are cooked. Right? Sorry, yeah, I agree. Yeah. And, so, and it's good replacement of protein. Mm, yeah, beef, all this, you know, and of course, you don't want to kill so many animals. Like that's how you point to sustainable. Mm, okay. yeah. yeah. Also, one more thing, Chef. Yeah. Yeah. It's very important also. This one. It will help us in our growth, correct? Right? So if we eat healthy food, our physical say, yeah, very muscle. strong. Yeah, yeah, muscle, you know. Okay. Yeah. So it will help you with your muscle growth. It will yes. help you with your 
uh, your brain, your brain to be yeah. much more sharper. Yeah. So it is a very good food for the good soul. Yes. Right, sir? So mm-hmm. most important thing today's menu is healthy body, healthy living, healthy earth. Yes. All right. Yep. So we are done today, chef. Yes. So far we are done for the demo. The demo. So mm-hmm. any question, anything that we can help you. Yeah. Okay, you can speak in bahasa. I understand. Uh, kalau mau ngomong uh, bahasa ke, yeah. mau ngomong uh, English ke, uh, Francis pun boleh. Uh, French also can. French. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that's it. Ah, uh, we have uh, someone who can speak French. Our our colleague, yeah. Yeah, French also can. Uh, German chef, chef said also speak German. No, no a Russian can. Russian. Oh, yeah. Russian. Wow. <laughs> Chinese also can. Yeah. So, any questions, please? Ah, yeah, yeah. I got something. So since the now Singapore borders is open, right? We encourage everyone here to visit Singapore and to visit Shaltet because it's very near from Jakarta to Singapore is about two hours. Two hours, correct? Two yeah, hours. from Batam to Singapore is only one hour, an hour, forty-five minutes. Oh, forty-five minutes. Yeah. Yeah, and most important thing, Indonesia and Singapore, we are good friends. Right, yes. so visit Singapore. Singapore is waiting for you. Try the delicious food in Singapore. Yeah, right. Yeah, and please visit us. Uh, shop that soon. We together with your parents. Right, it's very near. We hope to see you soon. And meanwhile, please do stay safe, stay healthy, study hard and study smart. Okay. Yes, correct. And eat healthy food like this. Eat healthy food. Yes. Healthy living, healthy food, healthy earth. Yep. Yeah. Wow, you know, oh, nice. Looks delicious, ya, yeah, Chef. Yes. Oke, okay, adik-adik, apabila adik-adik ada yang ingin bertanya kepada Chef Rafi maupun Chef Samson, bisa ya. Jadi misalnya di sini ada yang suka memasak atau bercita-cita nih menjadi Chef, bisa ditulis di chat Zoom atau gunakan fitur raise hand ya. Nanti uh, bisa juga langsung ditanyakan saja. Silakan bertanya apa aja mengenai burgernya atau mengenai profesi chefnya atau mungkin teknik pemotongannya ya. The cutting technique tadi ada juga. Jadi pertanyaan juga bisa dalam bahasa Indonesia ya adik-adik. Nanti Kak Meita bisa translate kepada chef kita hari ini. Chef, kalau burgernya gak, rotinya gak gosong gimana ya chef? Chef from Kenji, he asked if how uh, how do we maintain the bun not to be what is it burn? How do we maintain the bun not to be burn? How not to burn the bun? Ah, okay. Most importantly is that you control the uh, temperature of the pan, not too hot. All right. So uh, just use the medium medium to heat up your pan. And after that, you can uh, pan fry your uh, bun. Okay. Alternative, you can put in the toaster or the oven at about 120 or 140 degree. And put inside at about five minutes. Okay, some, some, uh, uh, some of the people, right, they don't pan fry the bun or bake the bun. They just eat it. Uh, if your bun is soft and nice, you don't need to pan fry the bun. Good question. Oh, Jadi nanti bisa ditaruh di oven aja ya, adik Kenji. Iya, terima kasih. Ya. Terima kasih tahu Syara Putri. Sama-sama. There's also adik Aushara who wants to ask question. Maybe Aushara can unmute and ask. Uh, chef, is there one one day cooking course for kids in Chatek? Uh, we don't have fun. Uh, we don't have fun. If, if anyone who wish to do a cooking with us, right, or children, you can maybe form a group uh, and we will organize one cooking uh, class for the kids. So maybe you can arrange with uh, the Mentera group and they can join together and form a class. Fly to Singapore and Chef Rafi and I will personally teach your cooking, okay? Wow. Okay, thank you. Okay.
Okay, another participant, another finalist, Genevieve, you can also unmute and ask to our two chefs. Can we change the ingredients? We change the ingredients. Okay. Um, yes, you can change the ingredient. Uh, for example, some of you you don't like soy bean or bean, you can change to chickpea mm. or mushroom. Beautiful. Yeah, beautiful. Uh, what you can do is to slice the mushroom, you stir fry the mushroom until soft, and you take the mushroom, mix together with the breadcrumb and blend together, right? So it becomes a mushroom. It's also a vegan. Okay. okay. Um, uh, GDP, I know you. You won the you won you won the winners last year, right? Yes. Okay, congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Kira-kira ada lagi adik-adik yang ingin bertanya ke Chef Samson atau Chef Rafi? Itu Bisa adalah langsung. adik Rinjani, Kak Meta. Oke, okay, adik Rinjani. Chef, what age did you, or did you start trying to cook? Oh, for me, I started to cook when I was 12 years old. During my PSR, when I take my uh, final exam of the primary school final exam, all right, because at the time I had a lot of holidays and uh, I don't know what to do at home, so I decided to. Uh, during my time, we don't have YouTube, we don't have internet, okay. So what I did, I went to library, borrow cooking book. Yes, and I saw some teachers recommend teachers to library. I brought home the cooking books. I began to learn from the cooking books and cook myself wow. at the age of 12. Wow. Yeah. So you are so lucky, you know. Now they have social media, they have YouTube, they have live feed. Mm. Yeah, so you can learn everywhere and anywhere. Right, right. That's like the only place you learn is from library and cooking school, right? Yes. Nothing else. Nothing else. Yeah, so you are so lucky. Treasure the moment, right? Yeah. Thank you, Chef. Ya, mau sama-sama. Baik. Ada lagi yang ingin bertanya? Dari para finalis? Mungkin mengenai teknik pemotongan ya, tadi ya sudah dijelaskan juga, atau mungkin mengenai uh, vegan Recipe atau vegan food yang lainnya itu bisa apa saja gitu. Mungkin ada yang ingin ditanyakan? Chef, sudah. Aku mau tanya, Chef. Iya. Sejak kapan bisa masak? Belajar. Belajar masak. Di Jakarta bisa belajar masak apa tidak ya? Bukan chef. Bukan. Chef. Chefnya belajar masak. Chefnya belajar masak. Dari kapan nih? When were you start to learn how to cook? It's depend on uh, if you talk about home cooking, any age. Okay, you can cook. You can learn to cook right now at home. But if you want to learn cooking, as a profession or uh, to get into a certification is about 14 years old and above. 14 years old. Yeah, 14 years old and above. Yeah. But if you love cooking, you love to eat, you can cook any age. You can cook right now. All right? Yeah. You want me to translate? Yeah. yeah. I love to cook. Yeah, I love to cook. So, if you want to learn to cook, as a professional, if you want to learn to cook, menjadi muki di dapur itu uh, umurnya uh, 14 tahun ke atas di sini di Singapura 14 tahun ke atas tapi kalau mau belajar masak kayak di rumah at home di rumah uh, umurnya sekarang pun udah udah bisa jadi uh, from from your age currently you can yeah hmm. as long as you have the passion you love to cook you love to eat starts now starts when you are young yeah. okay. you know become a better chef in the future 
Kasangan kamu punya punya uh, hati ya, punya hati uh, punya passion untuk masak atau belajar memasak. Jadi bisa mulai aja uh, apa-apa kamu. Jadi uh, pelan-pelan nanti bila kamu uh, udah besar, ya masih grow up, uh, nanti jadi lebih lebih uh, mau jadi masak. Yeah, and food brings people together, right? So when you cook for people, people love you. Yeah. Sharing is caring. Right. Yeah. So learn to cook now. Share your cooking with the people around you, the loved one, mm. and they're going to love you. Yeah. Okay. So uh, sharing, sharing. Uh, maksudnya itu uh, untuk nge-share itu adalah uh, salah satu makanan itu adalah satu salah satu bahasa ya, antara bangsa yang kita bisa bisa ungkapkan gitu ya yeah. jadi uh, chef you got a question there so uh, when is the right age to cook oh just now we mentioned any age but how old did the kids can school there hmm. okay uh, for short that right it's like 10 years form formal education meaning it's about uh, 14 uh, no okay year 10 okay year 10 and above meaning it's about 15 to 16 years old you complete your high school and you can start to join Shaltec. Yep. Right. In Shaltec, we have diploma program. So uh, it's only one and a half years. Uh, and after one and a half years, you get a diploma program and you can work in the hotel. Mm -hmm. yeah. So Shaltec, right, works together with 180 hotels in Singapore. Wow. So if you have the chance to study with us, of course, we will send you to the best hotel in Singapore. Wow. Yeah, it's amazing. 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 Yeah, so are you ready to come to Shop Tech? Yes. Okay, Vanessa, I'm waiting for you, Vanessa. <laughs> Thank you, Chef. Thank you, Chef. Any question? Any more question from you? Uh, there's also one, uh, Mikaela, who raised hand. Oh, raise hand. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Hi, Chef. Hi. Halo. Gimana sih caranya biar jadi chef hebat kayak chef Raffi dan chef Samson? Soalnya aku kalau udah gede mau jadi chef juga belajarnya sejak umur kapan ya? Oh, oke. Okay. So, uh, kira as, what does it take to be a great chef like you and me? Yeah. Oh, oke. Okay. Oh, so. <laughs> Hello, thank you for your question. It's a very good question. How to become a great chef? Okay, most important is never give up. Okay, be it yes. when okay. maybe your mom, your daddy say your cooking is not nice. <laughs> you continue to cook, become better, right? So even for us, when our chef, when the client, the customer say, the food is not good enough, we never give up. We continue to cook and improve ourselves every day. All right, to be a good chef, you need to improve yourself okay. and to become a better version of yourself every day. Okay, so right, yeah. I for her. Okay, good. Okay, Jadi, Chef Samson katakan, nomor satu, jangan, uh, jangan senang menyerah. Yeah. Okay. Maksudnya, never give up. Jadi, jadi jangan, jangan menyerah. Jadi kapan kalau ada orang uh, ngomong yang masukkan kamu, mungkin gak enak atau uh, kayak biasa aja. Tapi jangan, gak apa-apa. Itu, itu proses pelajaran. Ya. Ya. Jadi itu, itu yang paling penting. Ya. Uh, even if let's say the comment is not so good, ya, ya. Okay, become better. Ya. Ya. Jadi apa yang orang ngomong, uh, siapa aja. Ibu atau papa yang, yang, yang ngomong gitu, uh, itu nggak apa-apa. Asalkan kamu sentiasa jadi yang lebih bagus yang, uh, dari sebelumnya. Because she, she said she wants. Chef, I have many question. So just think of tips. Okay, yeah. another important thing. If you want to be a successful chef, come to shop back. <laughs> okay, chef. Success, ya. Yeah. One day. Yeah. <laughs> okay, thank you, Chef. Thank you. Oke, okay, tadi ada pertama ya, ada dari Vanessa Sani Kamajaya. 
yang tadi juga ada raise hand terlebih dahulu bisa ditanyakan langsung ya adik Vanessa ya. Hello chef, my name is Vanessa. I want to ask why do you like why do you like to cook and is there anyone who encourage you to cook? Why do you like to cook and uh, is there anyone who encourages you to cook? Okay, this question best for Chef Rafi because I think he has uh, someone that influenced him, right? Yeah. Okay, so like uh, I shared on earlier, uh, the person who influenced me a lot is my own father, right? So uh, he influenced me a lot. So he also he pushes me. So uh, at home, right? at home is a uh, very uh, loving very loving but at work he <laughs> is very, not not the way loving very fierce very, very fierce. strict very yeah strict. so you can take the point and throw at me <laughs> so, but then it's a it's a good process so it's not a um, it's a very good process of learning so uh then that is the person who inspires me a lot yeah, who pushes me to be better on the time. so if let's say one day okay even you don't nobody encourage you Vanessa, nobody encourage you. Never mind. You have to encourage yourself. You are doing this for yourself. You are doing this for the future customer, right? In future, maybe you will set up your own restaurant. So start now. Okay, there's no perfect day for perfect everything. But most important thing is you have to start somewhere. And you is the best. This is the right age for you to start now to learn to cook slowly. This time you can start to join a school. After graduate, gain some experience. Who knows? You become you set up the most, the best restaurant in Indonesia. You never know, right? Yes, and we will go there. Yeah, we will visit your restaurant in the future. Okay. Makan, makan rendang, makan sate, uh, anything. But you must treat us. I won't pay for your food. Huh? you must treat us. Huh? Okay. Okay. Thank you, Chef. Thank you, Chef. So a question from Dionia. Uh, yeah, how to cook uh, patty so it does not burn. Mm. <laughs> okay, very simple. Most important thing is like try not to add sugar inside patty. Yes, most important. Yeah, because some uh, some of the patty there's some marination with sugar inside. What sugar tends to burn very fast. Number right. one, do not add sugar or sweet stuff inside. Number two. Of course, control the temperature of the pan. All right, don't heat up the pan so hot. And put your patty. You can maybe you can put a little bit of the patty and try out the heat first. So when the little bit of piece of patty and burns, low down your temperature, and after that put the main patty inside. Wow. Okay, most important is to don't heat up the pan so hot. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Jeff. Okay, welcome. Welcome. Okay, maybe we can do one more question from Mahira Esha. Raise hand as well. Hello. Hello, Mahira. Hello. I don't think we can hear um, Mahira, hi. voice. Kak Meta, mungkin kita bisa ke Vanessa dulu. Vanessa juga dari tadi sudah raise hand. Boleh, uh, Kak Fatma, untuk Vanessa Cherry ya? Ya, betul. Ya, kan? Tanya. Oh. I have a question. Is there any different chef hat? The taller chef hat? Ah, uh, yes, it used to have difference in the modern days. Yes, right. Yeah, to define the position, the taller the head, the higher position is in the restaurant or hotel. But nowadays, there's no differentiation between the high head or the low head. It's just a certain image, right? Correct. Right. Yeah, and why chef wear hat is because uh, we want to keep our hair neat and clean. 
so that our hair won't drop into the poop easily. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Thank you. No come, Melissa. Okay. Um, thank you so much, Chef. Tidak terasa ya, sudah di penghujung acara nih. So, the time is almost over. So, we need to close um, our session today. Uh, untuk dilihat kembali ya dari chef-chefnya tadi, banyak sekali informasi yang sangat menarik nih mengenai plant-based burger ya. Plant-based um, recipe gitu. Karena ternyata dari plant-based itu lebih sehat, kemudian bisa juga uh, save the earth, ya. Yeah. Ya, yeah, save the earth. Dan satu hal lagi nih yang paling menarik adalah mengenai mayones yang terbuat dari tofu. Itu sangat baru ya untuk dilihat mungkin untuk para finalis di sini yang belum pernah mencoba untuk membuat mayones dari tofu atau dari silken tofu, bisa juga nanti setelah resepnya kita berikan itu bisa dicoba juga dan tadi juga disampaikan ya oleh Chef Samson apabila bagaimana sih caranya untuk tidak uh, biar bannya itu tidak gosong yang pertama tadi jangan ditambahkan gula kemudian kontrol juga temperatur dari uh, apinya ya uh, and the pan gitu dan juga uh, untuk ngecek juga untuk temperaturnya apakah sudah tepat bisa kita chill sedikit untuk bannya kemudian kita letakkan di pannya gitu ya adik-adik ya so um, we would like to say thank you so much uh, for Shatek especially for Chef Samson and Chef Rafi for sharing with us today and I believe that the finalists here are getting so excited with cooking and receive wider knowledge about cooking, especially with plant-based food. And perhaps, is there anything to add from our two wonderful chefs? Okay, uh, I myself have watched uh, the videos of the contestant. It's, you make our job so difficult because all the contestants are so good in cooking. Yes. All the videos are so wonderful. But yes. we still have to select the top 10 and uh, more by the top 3, right? So actually it's not easy for us, no? but continue, you know, to keep up the good work. Okay, everybody's a winner now, all right? Everybody's a winner. If anyone didn't manage to be the winner, it's okay. To us, everyone are the winners. So don't give up, continue to cook and continue to put your passion into action in cooking and share the wonderful food to the people around you because food is love. Share your love, right? Yes, correct. Sir. Yeah. yeah. So since you say in uh, English, then I will say in Bahasa. Okay, very thank you. Jadi kalau dari saya, saya mau mengucapkan semoga selalu maju, ya semoga selalu sukses dalam apa apa pun yang kamu lakukan, ya bikin dari hati, do it from the heart, okay, and jangan menyerah, don't give up, don't give up. Yeah. Yang paling penting, that's the most important. Yes. Yeah. Okay, that's all for me. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Mantari. Thank you, boys and girls and parents attending our this uh, live meeting. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay. Thank you so much, chefs. Jadi jangan menyerah ya, adik-adik ya, dan terus belajar. Okay. Nah, sekarang mari kita abadikan nih momen ini untuk berfoto bersama ya. So, let us take a picture together. So, make sure you have turned your camera on. Tolong dinyalakan ya kamera adik-adik ya. Udah siap belum nih dari adik-adik? Oke, okay. kakak hitung sampai tiga ya. Mohon dibantu Kak Dini untuk difotokan ya Kak Dini. Oke, okay. senyum ya adik-adik. Smile, satu, dua, tiga. Oke, okay, lagi ya. Ayo, berfoto, berpose ya untuk uh, fotonya yang kedua. Satu, dua, tiga. Oke, okay, nah sekarang kami ta, uh, ingin hitung sampai tiga. Setelah itu adik-adik finalis bisa mengucapkan bersinar bersama mentari gitu ya. 
So in the count of three, you can start to say bersinar bersama mentari, oke? Okay? Tapi di-unmute dulu ya, Kak. Oke, okay, ya. Coba di-unmute dulu ya, adik-adik ya. Apakah sudah semua? Sudah. Oke, okay, kita mulai ya. Satu, dua, tiga. Bersinar bersama Oke, okay, sekali lagi deh, sekali lagi deh, biar kamu lihat semangatnya nih. Untuk adik-adik ya. Sekali lagi ya. Satu, dua, tiga. Bersinar bersama mentari. Terima kasih banyak ya adik-adik. Oke, okay, thank you so much everyone. Sebelum uh, kakak menutup acaranya nih, kakak ingin menyampaikan kembali untuk informasi mengenai agenda dari pengumuman pemenang dan juga teknis pelaksanaan, sorry, teknik uh, memenangkan kejuaraan pilihan warganet ya. Jadi untuk pengumuman dari juara 1, 2, dan 3 akan kami umumkan pada 23 November 2022 ya. Sedangkan untuk pengumuman juara pilihan warganet akan disampaikan pada tanggal 25 November 2022 dengan seluruhnya akan diumumkan melalui Instagram at Mentari Groups dan juga di email peserta terdaftar ya adik-adik ya. Jadi okay. jangan lupa juga untuk terus ikuti Instagram at Mentari Groups agar menerima informasi pengumuman ini. Dan juga untuk kejuaraan pilihan warganet Ya, nantinya akan terpilih berdasarkan jumlah likes dari video adik-adik yang sudah kami unggah pada kanal YouTube Mentari Group. Jadi nanti nanti adik-adik bisa ajak teman-temannya atau kerabat untuk ikut likes video adik-adik sampai batas akhir likes yaitu 22 November 2022 ya. Jadi bisa dicatat tuh tanggalnya. Oke, okay, that's all for the information today. Terima kasih banyak atas partisipasinya adik-adik yang luar biasa semangatnya dan uh, very interested in cooking. And again, thank you so much Chef Rafi and Chef Samson from Shatek for your support and for the very wonderful culinary knowledge. And we wish you a very good weekend. See you all. Sampai jumpa. Bye. Bye. Bye.